Hey guys, this is Rez for Voxet.com back with another tutorial. This will be more of a niche topic, but uh, I have been asked quite a few times how do I do these kinds of uh, swipe breakdowns where each layer is building on top of each other, uh, sort of like this uh, breakdown style video. These types of videos usually do really well on social media, so I decided to just make a quick video to demonstrate how I set up everything because it's not something that's really obvious right away. So I have a comp here in Nuke and uh, we'll go over each layer and build them all together. So what I've did uh, in the past is simply write out to disk a frame. So let's say that this will be the base of the layer. Uh, so layer number one and this will be, let's overlay this on top. So make this change between this layer and this layer right here. We would like these layers to transition between each other. So what you can do is you can just drop down a right node and uh, just save them out as a JPEG image or a PNG, whatever your choice uh, for the format is. But essentially you will just save them out as a static image. So you would save this as uh, image number one and then you would do the same right operation. You would save this one as image number two and you can bring all of the layers in uh, an editing software like Premiere or even After Effects where you can place all of the layers on top of each other in a timeline and add a linear wipe transition to them and then just simply offset them each by 5 or 10 frames and you would simply just stack all of the transitions on top. So this is what I did in the past and this works but I would like to just do this directly inside of Nuke and also if you want to have this breakdown as moving images you would have to save for each layer so for this layer you would have to save out the entire sequence if you want this to be moving so animated then you would save the second image as an animation so you would have to export instead of static images you would have to export videos and if you have 10 or more layers uh, it can quickly add up and really you would end up spending a lot of time just layer, uh, just uh, rendering everything individually. So to do this directly in Nuke what we want to achieve is again we want to transition from this to this and then on top of this we'll add this so this will be layer number three and this will be layer number four and so on so we'll just go down the chain here and uh, to focus on let's uh, first start with our first transition between these two layers so I will just drop down a merge node and I will set the B layer to be my first layer so this is very important the B is essentially the background and the A layer of this transition of this uh, merge will be our second node over here and I will set this merge node and make sure that you are working with a different version of your saved uh, file. So just make sure that you save a different version of your project. So if you do control shift S, you can uh, just give your file or rather your project a new name over here. So usually I do something like um, let's do underscore breakdown or something like this. Just because this setup will affect uh, everything uh, we do here and we don't really want to mess our original project up. So again, we have our B layer, which is the first layer. Our A layer is the second one. We want to transition between these. So we will set this operation. So this is really important. Let's set this to copy. So once this is set to copy, we can simply transition between these two like so, but I don't really want a fade transition. Let's do something like a wipe. Now to do this linear wipe, we'll just uh, use this as an alpha mask in our merge node over here. Here. So we can do this if I just drop down a rectangle like so. We can append a transform to this. Uh, we can rotate this. So let's rotate this in this direction, maybe negative 50 degrees. And then we'll just simply scale this up and then scale this up as well in this direction until it completely covers our screen. And then with this transform, I'll go to the first frame. I'll set a key for the translate X and Y. And uh, let's actually move this off the screen. So it's uh, just uh, around the corner over here, as we can see. We'll move this in this place. We'll go forward. Uh, maybe let's go 10 frames and we'll just move this until it completely covers our screen like so. So we have this transition and this is how we can do just a simple uh, linear wipe mask. And then for our merge, we will grab the mask and we will point to this transform. So if we uh, go to the merge result, we have this uh, transition. So if I press play, we can see 
the linear wipe will transition between these two layers and what we can do from here to keep things procedurally rather than duplicating the rectangle and the transform and then offsetting the keyframes for our third layer what we can do here is we can use a time offset and we will connect this to our transform and we will push this entire animation by a few frames let's try something like seven frames so now this is delayed we can see we go on frame seven and on frame eight or nine this is where our second transition will happen so this will be our new mask we can now drop down another merge node and we will point the b layer the background layer to our already existing merge node and our a layer should point to our next layer so let's say that we want to transition to this part over here this will be our new a layer so i'll just grab this merge node i'll point the a layer to the gray node and i will point the mask of this uh, merge to our time offset so now if we look at this result we can see this is what we get and uh, we can see that uh, these are not overlaid properly and uh, I forgot to set in the merge node all of these merge nodes should be set the operation here let's try copy all right so copy will entirely replace the layer that's uh, below it with the layer on top so this is now our third transition I will also press ctrl p to go into proxy mode and uh, let's just preview everything and see if uh, everything works as it should so we'll go forward a few frames and we can transition to our our third layer now all right so now from here to keep things a little bit more procedural we can just copy the same setup for our fourth layer but uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to clone this time offset node I will select this time offset and I will press alt K and uh, if I press alt E we can see we have this orange uh, line between them and uh, essentially now this means that if I change the offset in our first time offset here if I change this to 5 this will now update in our second copy as well and now this time offset we will connect to our existing time offset so now this first one will be delayed by five frames and the second one will be delayed by an additional five frames so we are just layering offsets on top of each other and uh, I'll press alt e to hide the connection so we just have this here and I'll do another merge node uh, let's maybe just uh, grab this over to the side I'll drop down another merge node with M the B layer should be our existing merge node the A layer is going to be our our next uh, layer here in line let's say that I want to fade or rather transition to this part over here I will just grab this merge node and point the a layer from this merge node to our new layer that we want to transition over here and we can see that it's uh, really going to get cluttered and this is why I mentioned that you should just save a new version of the project file just so you don't have all of these uh, random lines affecting your main uh, project so now here uh, let's maybe just uh, place this more up and we'll rearrange these nodes so we have our time offset over here and uh, we just need to point the mask let's maybe just do another dot over here for our a layer just so we have access to our mask we can grab this mask from over here connect this to our time offset and uh, now this merge node again we'll have to set this to copy and hopefully if we move forward a few more frames we should see and uh, let's make sure that our actually our a layer from over here should be pointing to our next layer which is going to be this one all right and let's disconnect this all right so now our uh, fourth layer should be transitioning on top and if we check we can see this over here and this is where the transition happens so this is the fourth layer but uh, there's quite a lot of stuff happening here before we actually blend this in our main chain so let's maybe say that I want to transition first uh, to maybe this part over here or maybe we can just uh, use the render the base render which we have here so let's say that our fourth layer I actually want this to be our base render so now if I connect this here our fourth layer looks something like this but I want this fourth layer to just be on top of what we all already have and uh, to do this we will just have to merge this on top of our main chain I will drop down a merge node this will be the a layer and our B layer I'll plug this inside our main 
chain over here and uh, I will just merge this layer on top. We can also set this to plus in this case or actually I think it's better if I just set this to over and actually this should be below our gray node in this case. Now uh, everything here is very project specific but essentially you would have to recreate the merging operation that you want in order for this layering to be in order for all the layers to be sort of like um, added on top of each other. So let's say now that this layer we created essentially, this is going to be the fourth layer. So I'll just point this over here. And now if I check this in my main comp, we should see that we add our base render on top of what we already have. And let's say that our fifth layer, I want this uh, to be this layer over here. So at this stage in our comp, again, we will just have to merge this on top of what we already have. We will branch out from our main chain over here. We will do a merge. We'll merge this with our uh, layer in this state. Uh, we'll set this to plus in this case. And this will be our fifth layer. Now I will just grab these nodes and I will press Alt C and uh, this will create a connection. I will grab the time shift or uh, actually the time offset. I will shift select my new time offset, press shift Y to create a forward connection. And I will do the same for the merge node. I will press shift Y and this will plug it in the B pipe over here. And now the A layer, this will be our merge that I just created here. And this will be our new layer that we want to blend to. So we can see that we are blending before between our base render and the edited version of the base render over here. So this is pretty much the technique we just keep repeating this process over and over. And once we have some of these layers set up, we can simply do something like this. I will just grab all of these layers, press Alt C and I will drag these down below and uh, reconnect everything. So I'll hold down Shift, select the time offset, Shift Y, select the merge, Shift Y, and then I can just grab all of these, do everything again, press Alt C to copy, then connect these over here. So already we have a huge chain. So depending on how many layers you have, you can just repeat this process over and over. So I'm just going to set up a bunch of these layers. And uh, now once this is set up, you can just copy this over to other projects. And uh, essentially now you can just plug in the A pipe over here. So if I want the new layer to be, let's maybe say from over here, or maybe this layer with the glow, let's maybe do this layer with also the God rays. Let's say that this will be the next one. I will just grab this from over here, hold down shift, select this merge, and then press shift Y. So this will be the A layer now. And we can see we automatically just transition to this version. And uh, if I go next, let's say maybe I want to add this one. I will select this layer, this merge from over here, hold down shift, select the merge, shift Y, and now this is connected. And uh, let's maybe just grab all of these layers here and uh, just move them down below slightly so it goes uh, so our connections go a little bit more in parallel like so and uh, so okay so this will be the next layer we can check for any significant changes here maybe we can set this one to be the next layer I'll just grab this from over here press shift Y connect this over maybe connect this over from over here and again I'm just linking the main chain over here so I can just grab these uh, merges as they are but again if you wanted to showcase a change that's uh, that's created before it's added in the main chain, you will just have to merge this over your main chain like so. So you would have to create this uh, combining operation with uh, custom layers that are set over here. All right, so that's just something to keep in mind. But essentially, once you do this, you can just blend between all of these layers. And if I just do a test uh, render preview now, let's load this for a few seconds. So if I preview this now, this is what we get, all right? pretty cool breakdown. And uh, the cool thing is that everything is connected. Again, if I press Alt E, all of our duplicated nodes are connected to our first time offset. So for example, if I want to hold each scene for longer, I can just increase the time offset here. If I set this to 10, everything will be delayed by 10 frames. So I can uh, go ahead and if I press play, every layer essentially will be held in place for five more frames. So you can control this now procedurally between all of our transitions. We can see this here. And if I wanted to, we can also go back to our original transform over here, go to our dope sheet. Let's make sure that we are just previewing this one. We can just grab these keyframes. If I press S uh, or rather F, I can zoom in on these keyframes and I can just make them, uh, I can make the original transition maybe faster or longer. And this will update to all 
of the other transitions as well. So I will admit that it might be a little bit of a janky setup, but again, once we have a few of these nodes set together, you can see how easy it is to just grab a node and just plug this wherever you want in your uh, chain like so, and you can preview in real time your breakdown and you don't have to export anything you can just do everything directly inside of Nuke. So this is my preferred way of doing these types of videos. I hope this was helpful. As usual, if you're interested in learning Houdini and Nuke, check out Voxide.com and I will see you next time.